A floating node error always indicates that there is no DC path to ground for a particular node, which can be caused by either missing ground or by a node isolated from ground. In this video, we will recreate ORP SIM 15142 node is floating error and resolve it. So let's get started. In the first step, we are going to create a simple RC circuit project using Cadence PSpice library. To do that, first we are going to open ORCAD Capture from Cadence program menu. Select the license. In our case, we are going to use ORCAD PCB Designer Professional with PSpice and CIS and click over OK. Once the ORCAD Capture is ready, we are going to create a new project. To do that, we'll go to File, New, go to Project. Here you can name this project ORP SIM underscore 15142, which is the error code that we'll get in case node is floating. Next, we are going to select the location where you wanted to save this project. In my case, I want to save it on desktop. So I'll go to desktop, create a new folder, select the folder, make sure you have enabled PSPY simulation and click over OK. Now here it is asking you want to use any template of an existing project or you want to create a blank project. In our case, we are going to create a blank project and click over OK. Once the project has been created, in the next step, we are going to place components. To do that, we'll go to place, click over components and from here, first we are going to select VDC, right click and place, we'll place it somewhere here, right click end mode. We'll again go back to component search menu and search for register and we'll select a generic register, right click and place. Next, we are going to place capacitor, right click, place, end mode. Now we are going to create the circuit of an RC filter. To do that, we'll first place this capacitor. This is our load capacitor. To rotate the component, you can press R on your keyboard. And I'm going to place one more capacitor. To do that, we'll select the component and control C, control V and we'll place it somewhere here. To make the connection, you can press W on your keyboard. Next, we are going to place grounds. To do that, you can just select ground from here and make sure you have selected CapSim zero ground and click over OK. Right click, end mode. All right. Now we are going to set our VDC to five volt. So here we have our circuit ready for simulation. In the next step, we are going to set simulation profile and run the analysis and we'll see where we are getting the error. Now before adding the simulation profile, I'm going to add the net name at this node. So it will be easier to understand at which node we are getting the error. To do that, we are going to place net label and just name it, let's say node one and click over OK. We'll place it somewhere here, right click, end mode. To create the simulation profile, we'll click over this add new simulation profile option. Let's name it ORP SIM 15142 and click over OK or create. Once the simulation file is ready, we are just going to run this simulation with default setting and click over apply and OK. Now I'm just going to place one probe at the output side, right click end mode, and we are going to run the simulation. To do that, we'll click over run simulation button. So here we are getting error at node one, which is saying it is floating and error code is ORP SIM 15142. Now, as you can see, this particular node is isolated because we are sending a DC voltage through the capacitor, all right? And we are expecting something at the output side. But through capacitors, it is not possible, right? So that's why this particular node is isolated or floating. Now to solve this problem, what we are going to do? We are going to add a 100K register on this node to ground. Then this will resolve the issue. So I'm just going to copy this register, place it here. Let's make its value to 100K or mega ohm. 
you can increase it but yeah 100k would be enough copy the ground and place it here press w on your keyboard and connect this node now we are going to run the analysis again and see if we'll get something at the output side or not so as you can see we can able to run the analysis and obviously we'll get really low voltage because we are using some series capacitors and passing a dc voltage so this is the expected output but we can run the analysis and this node is no longer isolated for more tutorials visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel